Hi everyone, this is going to be a comparison of the Ruby Cup Small on the left to the Sabel Cup on the right. So the Bell Cup Small. Um, I will add links to any videos I have on these cups somewhere in the, you know, up top here. Um, I have an unboxing for the Sabel and an unboxing and a review of the Ruby Cup. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through the features of each cup separately and then compare the firmnesses of the cups to each other. So I've trimmed the stem of the Ruby Cup. It has this kind of cylindrical stem that has these little knobs on it as grips. Um, if you if your stem protrudes and even a little bit, this is going to be really irritating. So I didn't I didn't need a stem, so I trimmed it off. The cup has four suction release holes equally spaced: one, two, three, four. They are relatively small, and I think it'd be a little bit difficult to. Um, clean without running water. As you can see, there are some um, capacity markers here. Uh, I think it's five, seven and a half, and fifteen. Let me just take a look and tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry, no. Um, it's five, ten, and fifteen mLs. It's, mil it's marked on both sides, but it's milliliters on both sides. There's no ounce markings. Uh, the Ruby Cup does have grip rings, but they're really smooth grip rings, no irritation at all. On these, it's a nice soft cup. Um, it does have, you know, you can see the secondary rim here, but I don't really find that it's um, any significant difference in firmness from the rim to the body. Overall, a really soft cup. Um, a cup that I like a lot, but um, it's generally not enough capacity for me on a heavy day. So the Sabelle cup, again, I just got this one. I haven't tried it yet. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so first thing you're gonna notice is the stem, a nice long stem. Really good grips on it. It's not your fingers are not gonna slip off of this. You're gonna be able to get a good hold on it. it has this ball at the end. Um, no grip rings at all, but it does have these four indentations um, that I think are really meant for, for to help with folding. So especially the C fold is gonna kind of give you a perfect C fold. Um, there are four suction release holes, but they're not equally spaced. There's two on one side here, and then two across from it on the back. Um, as you can see, pretty big holes, you can see right through them, so it should be fairly easy to clean even without running water. <clears throat> so looking at the cup side by side, um, I would say the bodies are about the same length. The ruby might be like a little bit longer, um, but this is a little extra, you know, notch that was left there after I trimmed the stem. Generally the same. Kind of a similar shape, ruby has a little bit more of a, of a pointed base here. I suppose it's pretty round, but you yeah. know. I think similar shape. I think it would be, we might have slightly lower capacity than Sibel, but I'll check that and add in the description box for sure. So now I'm going to compare the firmness. I'll look at the bodies first and then the rims. Okay, so you can see inside the Sibel on the right, and inside the Ruby. So the Ruby is a good bit firmer. And so they're still both really soft cups, it's just that this belt is very soft. I'm going to switch hands. The ruby is on my right now and this bell is on my left. See this bell gets squished pretty quickly. The ruby is a little bit still open. I'm comparing the rims. This bell is a tiny bit softer in the rim. But I wouldn't say nothing significant. All right, so that is the Sabelle small compared to the Ruby small. I look forward to trying the Sabelle. It should be a nice soft cup to use. All right, thanks for watching.